conversation prior to what we just heard was basically, can we pit in three or four more laps and split it right down the middle of this segment of the race? Ultimately, Kyle said the tires are too bad. I'm, li I'm losing too much time on the racetrack, as you heard right there. Pit to get the four tires now. See what they can make up as this thing goes on. Well, now, the main tire isn't dependent on a deep tread. These only have about 6.30 seconds to start. But just like a razor blade, the sharp edge on each of those tread blocks is what gets that water out of the way. So as these tires wear and you lose that sharp corner on every tread block, they're not as effective. Yeah, around that edge, it doesn't like, it's like a dirt tire, to be honest with you. Well, I can tell you right now, as hard as it's raining, this beautiful, these cars right now, as Chase Silly comes up on a slower car to lap them, and they are dissipating a lot of water, especially this back straightaway. This is a high-speed section, fourth-gear straightaway, where we have seen water puddle up, and these cars hide their plane in this section right here where Chase Elliott is navigating. Look at that car wiggle yeah. on that straightaway. <laughs> these guys are earning their money today. There's no question about it. Somebody that's been in these cars, Jeff, you know as well as I do. Austin Sindrick has ready to stop, and boy, hats off to our box cameramen who are all around this racetrack. And as Andy Mitchell told me this morning, depending on the way they're facing, half of them are getting rain in the face and on the lens. The other half have their shoes filling up with water, and it's rain on the viewfinder. Oh, uh, this is a tough day. Talk about somebody all else. All these fellows in our... Our thanks to all of them for giving us these great pictures. Yeah, I was going to say, talk about somebody else earning their money today. That was past both of those cars. Ninth place here. All three of these cars locked up in this battle. Look at the rich. So I, I think some of that was that 18 coming off the road on the wet tires. Takes a little while to get some heat in those tires. You know, Mike back to Austin. Oh, Kurt Busch. Whoa. Wow. Off wow. the brake, off the brake, off the brake. Take your caution. Thread the needle and out of sight. Energy commercial would be. Oh, look and at that. Thread the needle. Great job by Kurt Busch right there. Come on. Incredible yeah, car control and heads up driving to get over there to the dirt and get out of the gravel. Wow. <laughs> How he did not collect one of those cars, including his brother, Kyle Busch. Oh, jeez. Yikes. But uh, guys, we're talking about hydroplane. That's what that was. He hydroplane in the braking zone coming into turn 12. Did a bunch of agricultural racing. Here we go. He's pretty far back there. See, Austin, Austin Dillon. How the heck did he miss Austin Dillon and Kyle by Dillon's? No idea. Completely locked up. Look at those tires locked up. Yep. No control. It's all long for the ride. Yeah, you can see it right there. The fronts are locked up. Yeah. There ought to be a trophy for that. No kidding. I'm going to tell you what, I'm as, as impressed with the fact that he's able to keep the car running and get back on track, not bring out a caution.